It's everybody, I'm Wendy Bell. You know, it's stunning to monitor the media's lack of interest in the whole Maui story. I've been in this business for 30 years. I'm stunned, but I'm not surprised. The dots are connecting. And coincidence seems to be the story here, right? But the true story, the media knows, it is not allowed to tell. But I can. Is it a coincidence that the Maui police chief is the same man who was in charge in Las Vegas during that massacre that killed 58 people? Is it a coincidence that the Maui property, owned by million and billionaires, wasn't touched by the flames while homes of the locals all burned? Was it a coincidence that the flames traveled across hundreds of feet of pavement and crossed a four-lane highway with emergency shoulders to jump into the ocean and then burn all the boats? Was it a coincidence that the largest system of outdoor emergency sirens in the world never made a sound as the fire devoured Lahaina? Was it a coincidence that at the same time, very same time, all the water was turned off? Was it a coincidence that police were ordered to block off streets and to funnel all the cars trying to escape onto one road where that firestorm incinerated entire families? How about the coincidence that the governor of Hawaii, Josh Green, just weeks before that inferno, signed a pledge to the UN's 2030 Agenda of Sustainable Development, pledging to eliminate emissions. Weird. And think about this coincidence. That governor also signed an emergency proclamation on July 17th, three weeks before the fire, about housing of all things, and suspended seven state statutes, protecting historic preservation laws, removing all of the red tape when it comes to building infrastructure. Coincidentally, that emergency proclamation also suspends previous building laws and gives the governor some magic wand power to appoint a housing czar to rule on the island's redevelopment. Is it a coincidence that the government put up a black fence around Lahaina or that the FAA grounded all drones from flying over the affected areas? Is it a coincidence that since at least 2011 there have been plans to make Maui the first smart city run by 100% renewable energy and that coincidentally two of the three largest landowners on Maui are BlackRock and the U.S. government and that both are part of the U.N.'s agenda? It must be a coincidence then that the locals whose homes did not burn are now being evicted from their property. And of course, a total coincidence that all the fact checkers who are checking these facts, who say everything I just told you is just a coincidence, are also owned and run by BlackRock. Thank goodness none of these coincidences is connected. I'm Wendy Bell. I'll see you next time for more Common Sense.